Welcome back to NC State Dendrology. Today we're going to be talking about Salix nigra. This is our black willow in the Salicaceae family. Um, looking at this tree, you're going to see that it has this um, very dark brown kind of scaly bark that goes all the way up, kind of ridged and platy. Um, but this is a much younger tree, not very large in diameter. Um, as you look around the tree, you can see its leaves. Um, they are alternately arranged on the stem of the plant, and they are long lanceolate to linear leaves. Some of these have bug spots on them, so ignore those. Um, but if you look at these leaves, you see that they have those toothed margins all the way along, very finely, finely toothed to serrated near the tip of the leaf. Um, and those branches are gonna be this bright green color. But I can tell that this is not a compound leaf because I can see those buds at the base of each of these leaves, letting me know that these are true simple leaves as opposed to a um, compound leaf. Black willow is one of our tallest trees. So if you look farther up this tree, you can see how tall he is. You can get a good look at that bark and you can see the delicate structure of those leaves way up there. So often you won't have access to leaves near the ground, but on these taller trees, you can look up and still see those linear shapes of the leaves. Um, and get a good idea. You'll often find this tree growing near water, um, sometimes even in the middle of water. Sometimes if you're looking at a lake and there's kind of like a little inlet where it's created a mound of dirt, this tree will see, be the one growing on it if there's anything growing at a, on it at all. Um, it's very, it's our tallest of our native willows, but in very wet conditions where it gets flooded regularly, it'll sometimes just grow as a shrubby um, bush, especially in a colony. You'll often see it with many stems of the same tree in one area. Um, this tree is actually um, where we derived uh, modern aspirin from. So our willows have been historically used in the past. They, people knew that their bark had pain relieving and um, fever reducing qualities to it. And we actually were able to um, get, derive a chemical from that tree that we know is silicic acid, um, which is actually what we find in modern day aspirin. Um, we don't get it from trees anymore because they were able to synthesize it in labs, but this tree is definitely one of those important plants. Um, it's often used in wetland restorations because people can take the stems of that tree and just stick it in the ground and it'll grow a brand new tree. If we look over here, we can see our younger tree growing out. If it's over a river, sometimes it'll be growing kind of horizontally over the river. Um, but yeah, that's Salix nigra, our black willow.